Ooh, so Sagittarius, it is finally your time to receive your reading at this moment in time. So if you are subscribed to my YouTube channel, you are probably using this reading to have a message, to receive a message for the month of April for the next 28 days, and that for you would be the month of April. However, if you're watching this from the future, the title caught your eye, or you just called to it, or it showed up on your feed, this reading is, I'm setting the intention that it's timeless. So whenever you see this, whenever it comes to you, whenever you're called to it is when you should receive it. There are no mistakes with it, and I believe in divine timing. So Sagittarius, this reading for you is going to cover your life, but also your love life. And the reason why I'm focusing on that love at the very, at the end is because I got a lot of requests, a lot of comments asking and private DMs asking for me to focus on the love life and to talk a little bit more about it for you guys. So that's exactly what is it I, I do. I'll do for this reading. If there's something else that you would like to see or something that you have a specific question on in particular, I'm more than happy to shuffle and pull for you. Just let me know down in the comments, okay? In the meantime, before we get started, Sagittarius, I want to invite you to go ahead and follow my YouTube channel to subscribe. Um, not only do I post readings very often, on, well, often enough on my YouTube channel, but every Monday, I go live for Astro Chat Live Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I pull the chart for the week ahead and tell you all of what you can expect so that you can plan for your own future and you're not surprised by anything or taken completely off guard. Okay? So Sagittarius, the first thing that's standing out to me, that's jumping out to me when it comes to you, my love, is the word vision. Is the word vision. I'm looking at the page of cups here and you can see this little boy representing innocent energy and innocent innocence and he's looking at this goldfish and it's what he sees. I feel as though Sagittarius energy you've been kind of feeling like you've been kind of frozen on ice recently. This is Seven of Swords and Four of Swords. You almost have been forced into non-action, no movement. And this has all occurred in order to give you, in order to help you gain gr greater clarity into your vision, your what you see for yourself, what you see for your life, and also what you see for the globe. Your energy at the start of this reading reminds me a lot of Pisces. However, Pisces is what it has given, what it has been giving to the planet. Um, Sagittarius, your vibe is more so, your, it's more inner, internally focused on what your goals are and what you, I'm just, I heard prophecy. I almost am feeling like you received a prophetic message or a prophetic dream that gave you gave you a glimpse into your future, a vision. That's why, that's what it was. You receive, you're going to receive a vision. If you haven't already, you're going to. Or maybe there's going to be a vision that comes through in this reading. We'll see. I can't plan these things out. I can't predict it. Either way, you were forced to, two of cups reversed, told you to put everything down. In your mind, in your eyes, you were like, well, I was just getting started. I was just getting going. Things are really starting to pick up. And now you're going to tell me to put everything down? Like, you universe, you divine, helped me to get here. And now that we're here, you told me to put everything on hold, on ice for now. And it's like, spirit says, yes. Duh. Because I had to give you a vision. I think that it's something that you weren't expecting now that I'm thinking about it, now that I'm looking at it, because Page of Cups, it pops up when sometimes when you least expect it and surprises you. So that fish is a vision. It's a prophecy. It wasn't your vision. It was Universe's vision. It's what Universe had in store for you. Wow. See, Sagittarius. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got a text message. I wasn't expecting that one. 
for you, you're, you're, this is where you're at right now. You're like the never ending story. Like, oh my God, it's a fail again. Or, oh, this is happening. Or, oh, this is a cycle. But that's the thing is that the universe will stop you right before you take that, that next step because it has to give you a vision so that you don't re repeat a cycle, so that you don't go down the wrong path. You're going to get a prophecy. You're going to get a vision. Something about this here, it's about time, well, duh, because there's this thing that, I forget what that's called, but you use it to tell time. It literally came with perfect timing. And you are sitting there like, oh my gosh, ugh, like how, why? But it's it's truly because you're about to enter into milk and honey and that it's a new life of milk and honey, of abundance and blessing and nourishment and happiness and miracles. Total blessing. I'm almost seeing, see how she's cracking out of this egg? This is you, like you're in the egg and you're just like, I'm put on hold, I can't, I thought I was gonna come out and you do emerge. It's like an oyster. You crack open an oyster and you find a pearl. The Emperor Reverse, the Ten of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. This is what you're saying goodbye to. This is what you're letting go of. You, in your mind, you were like, I'm going to go the distance. I'm going to carry this to the finish line. There's nothing. No one can stop me. I am so... I... Um, this is what I'm working on. This is what I'm working towards. The universe is supporting me. The universe has my back. And then all of a sudden it's like, Skirt! and you're like, whoa, universe, I thought you had my back. I thought that this is what the plan was. I thought this is what we're doing. Why all of a sudden are you putting everything on, on hold for me? And literally it's a grace period. You naturally go into your head and you start panicking. Like what? Did I do something wrong? Is everything falling apart? Am I going to lose everything? Whatever your anxious thought is. And really what this is, is it's the universe pumping the brakes and saying, yes, you're in control, but you're in control of only so much. The emperor card is here, and the emperor card is here is reversed. The emperor is a leader. He's not a follower. He initiates change, and then he sees it through. So, but the universe says that, yes, I gave you this project. Yes, I gave you this um, direction. Yes, I did this for you. But I also, in order to make sure that you didn't, like, this, this is you left to your own devices. You would take carry it to the finish line. You're so determined. But the universe stops you to give you a vision, to give you a prophecy that's going that needs that, that will be fulfilled, that's going to take you into this new life and the land of actual milk and honey. Your initial thought was probably like, I was so gung-ho and Am I about to lose everything? Is everything going to collapse and fall apart? No. If anything, things are coming together in a way that's better for you. Yeah. This has success written all over it. Okay. I don't know why, but I'm really called to shuffle from the Goddess Guidance Oracle deck for you. I haven't used this deck for any of the other signs and I just felt like I needed to like look for it. So bear with me, Sagittarius. Please excuse me while I shuffle for you. Wow. Wow. I just heard there it's there it was there's no loss. I just like I I as I was shuffling just now, like there's no we're there's no loss. You didn't lose anything. You're not going to lose anything. Um, I, you, you have so much to gain. Like the universe has so much to give to you. And as I'm saying that, that's why, wow, see, that's why you're getting a prophecy right now, a vision in the month of April, because that's what you want to focus on. That's what you want to focus your intention on is what the universe is going to supply to you. But I don't think that you would have even thought to ask for it until you saw it. Because in your dream, in your meditation, on your walk or whatever, you wouldn't even think to ask for it because you were so focused 
on carrying this, the Eight of Swords, whatever it was that you were carrying, whatever it was that you were doing before this happened. So the Eight of Swords literally says what it is that you focus on. It's in your head that it almost blinds you. It almost blinds you from divine sight and divine seeing. Sometimes it's maybe you weren't anxious. Maybe you just wouldn't have seen. And Spirit says, literally, we wanted you, you were so focused, but we also need to give you a vision, a prophecy, so that you could also incorporate that into your vision. Or maybe it would redirect your, your, your path and where it is that you were headed. Not that you would have headed into disruption or failure or destruction um, or bad things or toxic things, but they just want you to be in the land of milk and honey. So let us help you get there. The vision, the prophecy is going to help you to get there right and that's this next card is that you have expect a miracle and fairness fairness is really interesting to me that that is standing out that that's the card that you chose maybe for you things have not been fair it's been a never-ending story of things not working out in your favor or things not being like it's been a no a no a no and you're like i want a yes But then also, Mother Mary, expect a miracle. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. But more than that, it's expect a prophecy. Expect your next divine guidance. Expect your next divine um, purpose. I believe Mother Mary was the one who gave birth to the baby Jesus. And before that happened, she had a prophecy. She had a vision. An archangel Gabriel ap ap appeared to her and said, You're going to carry... The baby Jesus, the, the the son of God. And she was like, whoa, I'm still a virgin. People are going to call me all types of names. And it's like, this is your purpose. This is your destiny. And she didn't really, she didn't second guess it. She said, okay, tell me what I got to do. And that's what I think that you are doing right now is you're getting truth. You're gaining clarity into this next vision, this next this this next life, this new life. And it's like so big, it's so huge. The center of your reading is the Empress and also the Six of Wands. This is success and reward and recognition, but the Empress is very pregnant. So I feel like you're going to be embedded um, with a seed, a prophecy. It comes down and just bing and just like whoop, like wake, wakens you up. And you are meant to fulfill this prophecy, this vision of your life. Wow. Look at the root of this reading. You have the Justice card. You have King of Cups. And you have Eight of Wands. These cards were reversed, though. And the thing is about that is that you feel as though this is unfair. You were moving forward with this. So to be rerouted emotionally, you're really upset about it, especially King of Wand, King of Cups. He emotionally is like, look, he's covered in barnacles. You have to be still for a long time and set in your ways in order to have barnacles grow on you. So he personally, this is you, you're really wanting to keep it moving. So the fact that you're kind of caught in stillness right now, it really, that really emotionally messed you up. You immediately said that this is unfair. But Spirit says everything is fair. Everything is worked out in divine ordinance, in divine order. I almost want to put this away. Like, I almost want to put that off to the side. Six of Swords, Temperance card reverse, and the High Priestess reverse. Six of Swords is helping you to get to that ultimate destination. Temperance says that you need this to make it happen. You need this. You have to feel this. You have to experience this. All of these things have to come together in order to create the perfect um, recipe formula to help you to achieve greatness in order to help you to fulfill this prophecy of your life. But it's you can't do that all on your own. It's a very respect humbling process, especially with the high priestess here. She was reversed. But this is reminding you that you're blocking your intuition and you're ignoring the signs and ignoring what the universe is trying to give to you um, and trying to pour into your cup because you're in your head logically working on this thing. So be more open. If not, I believe that you're going to miss a really strong truth 
by only relying on what you can see and that could really create some suffering for you. This is Three of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, and Ace of Swords. So allow yourself to be open to receiving what the universe is trying to give to you right now. And it truly is a prophecy, a vision, a new vision. In fact, the word is grace. You're in a grace period where it's the universe's grace over your life that slows you down right at the right time to help you to not miss your turn to be inspired, to see something, to notice something. Wow, look. Answered prayer. I feel like this, this is your prayer. It truly is your prayers being answered and saying that sometimes a no is actually a yes and sometimes a yes is a no, if that makes any sense. Wow, see, truth and integrity. I feel like if you were left all on your own to go your way, and to manifest the it would have been against it wouldn't have been like the right thing for you it wouldn't have been fair integrity is that your intention your will matches your intention and you're moving in complete alignment and honesty with your authentic vision your authentic heart your authentic self and i feel like if you would have continued on you would have been compromising your integrity and almost settling so when the universe slows you down by distracting you with playfulness and joy and or maybe you need to take time to, to in factor in play or by playing you get inspired, that is actually the universe answering your prayers and things handling in a way that is fair and just so that no integrity is compromised. Now let me go ahead and shuffle for your love life. Sagittarius, what does I see for your love life? I believe that, whoa, everyone's getting like the same cards. I believe that if you, when it comes to love, you got, okay, you got unrequited love, you got retreat, you got religious factors, you got release your ex, and you also got honeymoon. So looking at these cards, I feel as though um, there are some factors here, religious factors, but not necessarily. It's just things that are rigid, set in stone, that you're like, this is right, this is wrong. This is morally okay, this is... And sometimes we get so caught in what we believe is right for us and what we want for ourselves and what we believe can happen that it almost... You end up compromising and saying that this is the only way that it can be. So it ends up blocking your blessings. And I believe that that is what you're being called to release is these moral obligations or these expectations, these rigid expectations that you have for your love life and for yourself, it's not going to give back to you what you want. You want more for your life. You want more for love. You want more from your ability to give and to receive love. So when you retreat, you will find bliss. When you retreat from that, when you pull back from that, when you take time to meditate, you will receive, again, a vision of prophecy that will help you to actually navigate into better waters literally this boat is taking these people this couple into milk and honey the promised land is what i'm going to call it it's there to make your life better more fulfilling so instead of looking at this and being like oh i was going to go this way i was going to do it this one way be open to what spirit how they're redirecting you because they're actually answering your prayers trust Now, last few cards I'm going to pull for you, just to help you along your path. And in the meantime, I want to again go ahead and invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, turn on your notifications. You can follow me on Instagram at, at Bahati Life. I go live again every Monday at 7 p.m. on YouTube. And I talk about the planets, what's going on for us in the week, in the world, to give you guidance and clarity to help you plan and prep and to have peace. Okay, so the cards that jumped out for you are peer pressure. This brings me back to that moral issue. It's almost like this expectation, this obligation of how you feel like you should be or how you feel like 
life should look or what you feel like you should do. And you know in your heart, literally, don't let others co coerce you into a decision. You know in your heart what the right choice is. This brings me back to integrity. So the integrity of your heart. Don't allow anything to pull you away. This is what this grace period is all about. It's allowing you to pause before you just keep moving forward with how you expect things. When spirit says, can I give you more? So in order to, for me to give you more, just pause and connect back to your heart space. Share the message of love. I see this as what you want to do, but I'm also seeing that this is what universe is trying to do for you. The universe is trying to whisper into your ear messages of love and a vision of, of a, a vision of prophecy of love for you. So you want to be able to see it. Rivers of love flow within you and others may benefit from this healing energy. Be mindful of each word that passes your lips. I'm seeing this as be mindful and listen and observe to what universe is trying to speak to you. This is going to help you to raise your vibration. Raising your vibration will also help you to receive. Your intuitive feelings are accurate messages from the angels. The way to raise your vibration right now is to allow yourself to be in a space, a meditative space, and to calm down, to ground yourself, to center, and also to trust. Past life healing. This situation, this card says past life healing. This situation has been triggered by one of your past lives. Heal the past and you bring present, bring healing into your present. I'm not sure if that's a specific message for someone because I feel like that is definitely a specific message for someone. That that's one of the cards that is that you received. Okay, Sagittarius, that's what it is I'm seeing for you. Thank you so much for listening to me and allowing me to shuffle for you. Um, again, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'm sure I'll see you in the near future.